All right, so let's talk about supercharged XP and exactly how you get it. So I've been asked probably hundreds of times since chapter two, season two has started. How do you get supercharged XP? And in a lot of my gameplay, I do have it. And that's why people always ask me the question. They see it and they see that I'm a YouTuber and they think, well, heck, maybe he's got some special deal with Epic Games here. But that's simply not true at all. And I'm gonna prove it in this video. So let's talk about the metal punch card. As you can see, I'm in a live match right now. And on the right of my screen, there are 10 medals to fill in for the punch card. And as you can see, I have nine. If I get a kill during this match, I will fill in that last one. So I don't wanna do that. I need to have that last one blank in order to show you how this works. So obviously I'm gonna lose this match on purpose. I can't get a kill. I've been hiding the whole match, but I was trying to max out my survivor one, which I already did, and my search chest ones, which I already did as well. So every single day, if you complete all 10 of those medals, you get 60,000 XP, okay? So that's important to note. And again, as you can see, I will have 10,000 XP left because I'm not gonna finish that one today. Holy crap, man, look at this. I can't, I'm gonna just take right. this so nobody else can take it. I, I could totally win this match, but I, I can't, Jack. I have to do this for my video. I'm There's still the chopper. alive, though. Oh, wow, I has no health left now. Win. I totally could have won that match, man. Look at all that loot. He's probably like, what a bot. Yeah, look, I had the Midas drum gun, you butthead. Okay, so as you just saw, I died. I have the last medal left, the 10,000 XP medal, and that is what I need to show you. So let me first explain how supercharged XP works. So in Chapter 2, Season 1, on some weekends, we had what were called power level events. And on those weekends, we would all get supercharged XP. But that is not the case in Chapter 2, Season 2. We have never had any of those. And if you see someone with supercharged XP, it will be because of what I'm about to show you. So because we got all those supercharged XP weekends in Chapter 2, Season 1, a lot of people just assume that that's how you get it in Chapter 2, Season 2. But in fact, they changed it. So listen very carefully. The only way to get supercharged XP in season two here is to skip some medals on your punch card. That's exactly why I skipped that last medal. Okay, so I skipped that one. I'm gonna log in tomorrow morning and watch. The punch card will reset and I will have supercharged XP. So then I'm gonna also show you that it only works for however much XP you missed. But even that's not entirely true. So again, I have 10,000 XP to go and I'm gonna track how much supercharged XP it actually gives me. I don't think it gives you the full amount. You get a percentage of it. So we're gonna tally that and we'll know for sure. So let me say that again. Let's say you log in for a day, but you only play creative. So you didn't get any of your 10 medals for your punch card at all. So that's 60,000 XP you missed out on. Then you log on the next day and you'll have almost about 60,000 XP worth of supercharged XP, if that makes sense. And this is a way to allow people that don't get to play every day a way to catch up. And it's also important to note that you can stack this supercharged XP. So if you miss, say, five days in a row, then you'll get five days worth of supercharged XP. But it goes a step even further than that if you miss a lot of days, so let's say two weeks worth, then the multiplier for supercharged XP gets even more. And this allows you to get caught up even faster. So you may be thinking to yourself, okay, well, what if I just purposely skip the metal punch card every single day just to get the supercharged XP? Well, that's not the smartest thing you can do because as I said, you don't actually get the full 60,000. So if you miss a full punch card, you'll get close to 60,000 XP but you won't get the full 60,000. So you're better off just doing your punch cards every single day. Now, another thing to note here, you have to actually log in to get the supercharged XP, which kind of defeats the purpose in my opinion. So let's say you can't play Fortnite on a certain day, but you don't even log in. Then it doesn't count. You don't get supercharged XP for that. You literally have to log into Fortnite and reset your punch card in order for it to count. So again, that kind of defeats the purpose. If you go on vacation and you can't log in for seven days in a row, you don't get the supercharged XP unless you physically log in each and every single day. You don't have to play any matches, but you have to log on 
and reset your punch card, which is kind of Mickey Mouse bull squash, as I said, because it defeats the purpose. But I guess it's more so for people that want to log on and not grind and just play creative or something like that, because then it counts. Again, you just have to refresh that punch card and it happens every single day. So just log on if you can't play that day and it'll still give you the supercharged XP the next day. So now let's just confirm here what I'm saying is true. I'm gonna go to bed right now, I'll wake up, and tomorrow I will have supercharged XP because I'm gonna log in, my punch card's gonna be refreshed, and I should have about 10,000 XP worth of supercharged XP. All right, so it's the next day now, I just logged on, and when you first log in like this, the punch card doesn't really show that it reset. As you can see, it's still saying I need 10K XP. But when I start a matchup, it will reset, and I should have supercharged XP. So then I'll tally exactly how much XP I get. All right, so as you can see, supercharged XP is on. Down below, it 1,000% works, just like I told you it would. My punch card reset. So I'm gonna land somewhere safe, just so we can tally exactly how much XP I get. I'll try not to get any kills. I'll just search ammo crates and chests. In fact, I'm gonna do my camp cod route just so it makes it easier to track how much we get. Now, again, I had 10,000 XP left in my punch card, so hopefully we get around that much, but from what I've read, you don't get the full amount. So let's test and see if that's true. Now, you also have to be watching because you get random amounts of XP, for example, for surviving. So I gotta keep track of that as well. Now, hopefully nobody lands down here with me. So it should be pretty easy to tally how much XP we actually get. All right, so a chest will give us what? 553 XP. Okay, so we got 595 for a new storm circle. I'll show it all on the screen when we're done here, but I just want to show you what I'm doing before it goes away. There's another 553. Let's see what the ammo box gives us. 404 for that. So you can see how quick it would take to get 10,000 XP. I mean, you almost get 1,000 for searching a chest. You get half of that. Now that gave me 638 for the scavenger medal. I think I got 5,000 there. I'm gonna have to check that in, uh, in my editing program because, yeah, I think I got 5,000 for the metal punch card, but the punch cards don't count, I don't think, because I mean, you normally get 5,000 there anyway, and that's all it gave me. So I don't think that counted. There's the ammo box. And you'll know when the supercharged XP goes away because it'll instantly turn purple down there. There's another one. Here's another ammo box. I'm going slow just so I can... How about hitting a weak spot? Let's see what that gives. 43 XP for that. Okay, so you can actually see. Look on the bottom of my screen. Oh, what did that give me? I didn't see. Uh, 5,000 XP. That was for Survivor. Okay, but look at the bottom of my screen. There's a little lightning bolt on the XP supercharged screen. I think that's showing me when it's going to end. So maybe one more chest. Let's see if this gives it. 404. No, I, yeah, I think when I search this chest, it'll probably end. Let's just double check. I didn't even notice that little mark down there before, but now I see it. Here we go. This should do it. Uh, nope, we're, we're right on the edge there. Maybe one more chest or ammo crate. All right, this should do it. Let's see if this gives us the full amount. Okay, yeah, so that only gave 383. And then it shut off. Okay, so I will tally everything up until this point, and we'll see exactly how much we got. I don't know if it was the full 10,000 or not, but we'll see if it was close. All right, so I went through all of the footage, and I searched five chests with the supercharged XP, and that gave 553 XP per chest. Then I got the new storm circle, which was 595 XP. I searched four ammo boxes for 404 XP a piece. I had one weak spot for only 43 XP. Then the last chest I searched was a mix between supercharged and non-supercharged XP. So instead of giving me that 553, it only gave me 383 XP. 
And then the Survival Medal gave me 680 XP, and the Scavenger Medal gave me 638. So that is a grand total of 6,125 XP. So remember, I had the medal on my punch card for 10,000 XP left. So if you're thinking about doing this and trying to just get the supercharged XP instead of doing your daily punch card, it's not worth it. You'd get 6,125 XP as opposed to 10,000 XP. So it's much, much better and more efficient to do your punch card every single day and get the full 60,000 XP. So you're basically only getting a little more than 60% of what you would have got. So if you missed your entire 60,000 XP punch card, you could get a little more than about 36,000 XP, which is not great, but it's better than nothing. Now, just for fun, I calculated what you would get without supercharged XP. So doing the same thing, the five chests, the four ammo boxes and everything else the same, you only get 1,339 XP. So definitely worth it to get the supercharged XP if you miss your punch card and can't play. But if you can play and do your punch card, you need to do that because you get way, way more XP. And remember, to even activate the supercharged XP, as I said, you still have to log into the game, which is quite unfortunate. If you miss some days and you don't log in, apparently it doesn't reset the punch card and you don't get credit. All right, so I think that's all there is to it. I just wanted to explain, number one, how to get supercharged XP, and number two, how it actually works. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supported creator code, which is TaborTime.